Sharks moved into the top four of the South Group of the NatWest T20 Blast with two matches to play after coming away from Chelmsford with a 24-run win over Essex. Batting first, both Chris Nash and Luke Wright were soon enjoying themselves as they opened up with a stand of 43 in the first five overs. Nash was the first out for a 16-ball 25, while Wright went for 32. The score read 78 for two after 10 overs, and then the 11th delivered by Ashar Zaidi was spanked to all parts of the ground with Phil Salt going berserk with two maximums and two fours in an over which went for an incredible match-altering 28 runs. Ross Taylor also clearing the rope off the spinner. Salt was out for 33, Zaidi with the catch off Ravi Bapara, which had the Sharks on 106 for three in over number 12. Babara claimed his second victim as Tom Wesley took another catch in the deep to dismiss Matt Machen for five. And then Taylor was run out for 24 with a total on 122 for five with 34 balls of the innings remaining. The other Sharks ended with 200 runs on the board was largely down to a rapid finish with Chris Jordan and Craig Kachopa both finding the middle of their bats to very good effect. 40 runs came off the 17th and 18th overs combined, with Jordan producing a thrilling innings of 45 off 21 balls. Kachopa was out for 18, but the Sharks were still able to get to 200 for 6 from their 20 overs. In reply, the Eagles lost Nick Brown early, but Wesley and Daniel Lawrence pushed on, taking 54 runs off the 6 overs of power play to lay the platform for a chase of this magnitude. There was the prospect of a thriller ahead with both batsmen going along very nicely indeed. It was left to Jofra Archer to get the breakthrough, a slower ball too good for Wesley, who was legged before for 23. Will Beer then dismissed Lawrence the same way for 36, leaving it to Zadie to try to make amends for that very expensive over. He had a point to prove against his former county and he helped take the total to 121 with seven overs left to get 80 runs. Game on. Papara also looked in good nick with shots like these that had a healthy crowd on the edge of their seats on what was a perfect evening for a game of T20 cricket. Salt ran out Zaidi for 18 and then Papara gave debutant Mustafa Rahman the first of his four wickets right with the catch. James Foster and Ryan Tenderskarter kept their side in the contest but in spite of these boundaries the target was still as tough as requiring 52 from 16 balls when Foster was bowled behind his legs by Rahman. Three balls later and the Bangladeshi had another reason to celebrate, Callum Taylor out for a duck. The Eagles' last hope now lay with Tender Scarter who still had his eye on the prize even though time was rapidly running out for his team. In the end, 35 runs were left to find off the last over. And Rahman did what he needed to do to finish with the excellent figures of 4 for 23 Essex ending on 176 for 8. That was some effort from a man who'd only just arrived in the country, he helping his team to a 24-run victory to see the Sharks move into the top four and qualification for the quarters now a real possibility.